Hello, this is JJ on YouTube and in this video, we will discuss the mysterious death of Natalie Wood and whether or not Robert John Wagner, who will be referred to as RJ, is the perpetrator. The focal point of my channel has always been film, and Natalie's death has been considered a Hollywood mystery for nearly 38 years. Several conspiracy theorists think RJ has sole responsibility in the role of Natalie's death, but I believe that he is innocent. However, I will go over both sides of the issue so everyone can get a full understanding about the particulars of Natalie's untimely demise. Natalie Wood has always been one of my favorite actresses of all time, and I have deep admiration for Robert because I love the show heart to heart. Their relationship has always piqued my interest. So, when I did further research into Natalie's death, I fell into a rabbit hole of various theories that simultaneously amused me and made me think. On November 29th, 1981, Natalie Wood passed away at the young age of 43. She had been on her husband's yacht, the Splendor, and had drowned from attempting to climb into the dinghy. Natalie had been with her husband, R.J., actor Christopher Walken and the yacht skipper, Dennis Deverne on a weekend trip to Catalina Island. Her body was pulled from the water the following morning at 8 a.m. She had been wearing a flannel nightgown a jacket and wool socks. The circumstances behind Natalie Wood's body being found in the water are unclear. Thomas Noguchi, the chief medical examiner in Los Angeles County, performed Natalie Wood's autopsy on November 30th. He found superficial bruises on her body and an abrasion on her left cheek. Additionally, Natalie Wood's blood alcohol content was 0.14% and she had traces of a motion sickness pill and a painkiller in her body which would exacerbate the effects of drinking. The Los Angeles County coroner ruled the death as accidental. But that did not stop people from suspecting that there was something more sinister involved. Although her death was ruled as an unfortunate result of drinking, numerous people questioned a series of events that led up to the discovery of her body. Thomas Noguchi had questions regarding the circumstances as well. Although he made the final ruling, he questioned why the men did not report her missing until several hours later. He also questioned Natalie's motive for untying the dinghy and why she was out on the stern in the middle of the night. He explored these questions in a book that he penned in 1983 entitled, Coroner. RJ's recollection of the events of that fateful night were discussed in the book, Heart to Heart with Robert Wagner by Diana Magic. He stated that he was absorbed in a political discussion with Natalie's Brainstorm co-star, Christopher Walken, and that the conversation bored Natalie. She had slipped away to go to bed during the middle of it. According to his theory, Natalie was more than likely unable to sleep due to the dinghy banging relentlessly against the yacht. So that prompted her to tighten the dinghy and she slipped. The book version of the events are contradictory to what he initially reported to the police. He had stated that he had been involved in an intense argument with his wife about her constantly being away from the family. These inconsistencies in the recalling of events are one of the reasons behind certain people believing that RJ was guilty. And the reopening of the case 30 years later. RJ's sister-in-law, Lana Wood, better known as Plenty of Tool from the Bond film, Diamonds Are Forever, question RJ's innocence. I'm a Bond fanatic. So Lana's strong opinions against her sister's husband interested in me. Natalie Wood had an all-consuming phobia of the water, so what would possess her to put herself in harm's way, especially during the nighttime? Natalie Wood's fear was so intense that she had problems even getting into a pool. Lana even stated that Dennis Deverne had called her during the night and had alluded to certain events that had happened that fateful night that could implicate RJ had more of an involvement in what occurred. Laverne and Walken had been instructed to be silent and be complicit in RJ's statements towards police, resulting in Laverne's silence for a long period of time. His guilt had finally caused him to reveal details of what had occurred. And there have been external witnesses that have overheard cries for help that were unanswered that night. However, Laverne, like RJ, had displayed inconsistencies in his recalling of the events which made certain people doubt the authenticity of his testimony. He was also intoxicated that fateful night, along with everyone else. Dennis Deverne, the yacht skipper, is the reason that the case was reopened 30 years later. He and his co-author, Marty Rowley, wrote a book that discusses the specific details in regard to Natalie's death. The book is entitled, Goodbye Natalie, Goodbye Splendor and was published in 2009. Deverne recalled at night vividly and remembered overhearing a violent argument. 
RJ had apparently been jealous over Natalie Wood and Christopher Walken, and he had thrown a wine glass. Avern stated that Wood and Walken had been flirting throughout the weekend, and that he overheard RJ heatedly questioning if Walken wanted to sleep with his wife. According to Avern's timeline, he had overheard the dinghy being untied and RJ looking agitated and anxious. Walken and RJ continued having drinks when around 1.30 a.m., RJ decided to go check on his wife and found out that she was missing. This prompted a search. However, Avern's suspicions arose even more when RJ refused to have the ship floodlights turned on because he didn't want to disturb people. They radioed for help. The case had been reopened in 2011, when Devern and 700 other people signed a petition that urged the LASD to investigate further into the case. Raleigh had presented this petition along with testimonials from witnesses to the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, which made them give the case a second look. The coroner reclassified Natalie's death from accidental to drowning and other undetermined factors. Devern stated that it took him so long to give his thoughts on RJ's role in Natalie's death because he had been held hostage by RJ. RJ had given Devern a job at the studio, and he had been staying at Robert's place for a year. Christopher Walken, Wood's co-star that was also aboard the yacht on the night of Wood's disappearance and death, seems to not have any involvement in the case. There was talk that RJ had advised Walken on what to say to authorities, although there isn't any concrete evidence to prove that any of these statements are true. Walken has barely spoken with the press or authorities about the night of Wood's death, another rumor that has been circulated. Through Natalie's sister, Lana, is that Walken and RJ were involved in a homosexual affair and that Wood had stumbled in on the two of them. Lana suspects that RJ possibly killed Wood because she became privy to information that he did not want spread around. However, there isn't any substantiated evidence to prove that there was any sexual entanglement between Walken and RJ. Wood wanted her husband to be better acquainted with her co-star, and that was one of the reasons for their trip to Catalina Island. Since I have provided as many facts as I could find on this case, I have drawn my own conclusion on whether Natalie's death was accidental or homicidal in nature. If, theoretically speaking, R.J. did push Wood off the boat in an intoxicated rage, the statute of limitations has passed, and he cannot be charged with manslaughter. However, I believe that Natalie's drowning resulted due to the fact that she mixed a couple of substances together that magnified the effects of her alcohol consumption. In Natalie's toxicology report, there were traces of cocaine, codeine and morphine. We all know the results of mixing stimulants with downers. As stimulants mask the effectiveness of depressants, particularly if you mix uppers with alcohol. When one consumes too much alcohol, as it is as a depressant, the body's natural response is to pass out if you are over the limit. Stimulants prevent this from occurring, thus causing people to consume more alcohol than necessary. The more medications that are mixed, it could inevitably lead to severe side effects such as being in a coma or even death. Natalie Wood's cocktail that was found in her body, especially for her petite frame, could have led her to have impaired judgment and do something out of character, thus making her death accidental as she could have slipped. Roger Moore, who is well known for his role as James Bond, was also a friend of RJ's. He hated one of the scenes in his movie, The Man with the Golden Gun, where his character physically assaults Andrea, who is played by Maude Adams. Roger Moore is a self-proclaimed pacifist, and he hated how increasingly violent the Bond film franchise had been getting. So, if he abhorred violence, why would he be friends with a man that was rumored to be abusive to his wife and who potentially could have murdered her? Walken was also on the yacht that night. If he had suspicions of R.J. being a murderer, why has he remained silent on the case and hasn't said anything? Additionally, why did the coroner classify Natalie's death as accidental if he had doubts all along? I feel that certain people were trying to monetize on Natalie's death, and that is the reason why Laverne co-authored a book and came out with a story years later. How could he recall the night vividly when he was impaired by alcohol as well? Why didn't he confront authorities with the facts at the time of her demise? Was he really in fear of Robert Wagner? It is also apparent that Lana does not have a favorable opinion of RJ, and that she is estranged from RJ and his children. She never approved of the relationship, which could impact how she views the case and why she would implicate RJ. In my opinion, 
Natalie's death was a result of an inebriated accident. Since society in general loves a great murder mystery, rumors were circulated that made RJ look guilty. It was easier to believe that the death was homicidal. RJ was a film star but more recently gained fame as Jonathan Hart in his popular television series Heart to Heart. By 1981 Natalie Wood was an acclaimed film star in every sense of the word. RJ was jealous of his wife's success. And her flirtation with co-star Christopher Walken may have anchored him, however, in my opinion, his fame and fortune could not have successfully swayed an investigation into his wife's death. Fame rarely prevented investigation among the Hollywood aristocracy. Phil Spector, O.J. Simpson and Robert Blake were Hollywood elite at the time of their arrest. Natalie Wood was buried Wednesday in a quiet ceremony. The services were attended by close friends in the Hollywood community. All in all, Hollywood was saddened to lose such a beautiful young star. Natalie Wood has and always will be one of my favorite actresses of all time, since her talent and sophistication is unmatched by any of the present-day top stars. Tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you believe RJ was guilty? Why or why not? Please subscribe and like for more videos.